In the spirit of the former Domtar employees reunion that was held a few weeks ago, the Cornwall Community Museum has put up a new exhibition. Let's take a look. Well, we're having a media event today, Bill. This particular aspect of it was inspired by an event that's near and dear to your own heart. Several of us worked at the paper mill over the various years, and, and you and I were co-workers at one point. So the 10-year closing of the mill, the gathering that uh, your committee organized, obviously has inspired a lot of enthusiasm, rekindled that sense of community, people wanting to renew old friendships, and to, to relive some of the mill history. And certainly there's an extensive amount of history all the way back to 1881. Right from outside, uh, Without even coming into the building, the 1881 corner store of the Toronto Paper Company, of course, the transition from Toronto Paper to Howard Smith to Domtar, that is there. In our stairwell between the, uh, the archives below us and the museum is the top two sections of the former 51-foot totem pole, Howard Smith totem pole. We have right here beside us the CNR steam whistle that regulated uh, work hours at the mill, but was also a sign for the community. It was time for the kids to be home. It was time for lunch, time for whatever your daily routine was. So those things, everything from the catalogs that the salesmen used to use, the books, they, they sample books, rather that they would bring around with them are here, union contract books. We have various memorabilia pieces. Pe a few people have donated their retirement gifts. It was not uncommon, as you know, Bill, that if someone retired, they'd been there a long time, coworkers would make something that resembled their workstation. We have a few of those here. We have tons and tons of photos and literally a full file cabinet drawer full of, of photos and records, and I've brought a, a sampling of them out. They were already here, but we've added a bit to it. Some of the memorabilia, the souvenir glasses and whatnot from our own collection and various other people are bringing, continuing to bring those in for people to enjoy. Museum is open uh, every day, Wednesday till Sunday, 11 till 4, anytime in that time frame. We'd love to see them. We haven't set a particular closing date on the, the exhibit, but I suspect it'll probably be up for at least a month or two. Appreciate the opportunity for the, the reunion and for the United Way that you're involved with to, to have a little bit of proceeds from that and the renewed friendships. It's great to see so many people again, and I'm looking forward to those who'll come out and visit us here. Well, we're here today present to uh, give the United Way a check for $2,848. Uh, we're presenting that after we had our Dumtar reunion, 10-year reunion, our spaghetti feed fundraiser for United Way. And um, hopefully it's going to go in the community and be at least a helping hand to some organizations that need it. And uh, all I have to say is fun was had by all at the, at the uh, fundraising.